I am so excited. I know some of you guys have detected and you find these things all the time and it's just really nothing. Yes, 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 I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm on location this morning. I'm up here in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I'm up uh, in a little town called Falmouth, very old town, sitting right here at a 1793 home. And uh, beautiful, beautiful property. There's my friend Mike back here. He's the one that invited me up. The homeowner just went inside, and the, and the, and the male homeowner, he's going to be cooking us some, uh, he's, a, he's a chef, going to be cooking us some, some uh, lunch later on. And so let me show you around this property right quick. We're out here beside the road. We have all this down through here. We have this house. This is the original 1793 home. We have this front yard. We have a side yard with a cellar. And then check this out. Big trees. We have this side lot. And we have a whole backyard and another side lot on the other side. And then we have all this in here. Look at this, the old rock wall from the 1700s, all down the edge of the property here. And uh, I'm hoping some good coins and some good relics are gonna come out of here. So enough talking, let's get the swinging. Let's see what this front yard, we're gonna start on the front, the original front yard, then work myself around to the rest of it. And I've already been invited to come back next year. I'm going to get some more 1700 properties. So this may be a new preacher digger uh, stop, a uh, uh, trip, road trip. So let's uh, get the detector booted up. Let's get swinging. I'm going to be using my uh, Trustworthy Equinox 800. We're going to do it on park one. We're going to be a multiple frequency. We're going to go ahead and we're going to noise cancel everything here because I got an AT Pro beside me. And uh, let's go ahead and just see what my uh recovery speed is going to be at five and then we're going to put uh the sensitivity at 20. all right let's get the swing all right michael got a good name doesn't he just called me over says he's got a gun and it's heavy so and i just got through digging an old coin too i'm gonna to have to come back and show you that four inches down rang up about a 39 not very deep and it's heavy. That uh, I believe it's real. It's it's iron. Uh, if that was a toy gun, that would be more uh, aluminum. We ought to clean this up a little bit, get some dirt off of it. Boy, I'll tell you what. We're gonna put this on electrolysis. I think this is a real gun. You brought me some luck here. Check that out, guys. That is amazing. That is a real gun. Rookie digger. There you go, hold it up there. Digger, but this I'll get a picture digger. of you there. Congratulations, man. All right, let's go see what my coin is now. Okay. That's an awesome find. We think it's a real gun. We're going to try to clean it up a little bit. We'll show you at the wrap up. But I got a coin. I thought it was a modern quarter. It was ringing up like a 28, 29 size of a quarter, but I don't think it is. This is the size of a quarter. The sun here, you can see. Let me uh clean it up and let's see what this is going to be. Yeah, time, time to bring out the holy water. It's definitely not a U.S. coin. Coin. Um, that is really neat. What is that? I don't know. 
what that is. Check that out. It's got fancy design there. You flip it over, it's got a... Let me keep doing some work on it, and we'll see if we can't get a date and identify this. All right, I got some identification. It's hold, and I don't know if it's 1914 or going to be 1814, but you can see it's got an eagle on top, standing on top of that, that badge, that shield. You flip it over, and it reminds me of a U.S. coin, how the obverse and reverse is upside down of each other, and some dude sitting down doing something. And underneath it says something too. So I'm not sure what I have here. I'm going to have to look online and kind of do some research on this. And All right, I looked this up and I thought it was a Philippine coin. And that's what it's going to be. That's going to be a five centavo worth about $6, 1944 uh, Philippine coin. And there's the back of it. And you can see right there, that is the, the front and the back. We flip it over, and this is when the Philippines was part of the United States. They had uh, the U.S. coinage. All right, at least we know what it is. Let's keep on rolling. Well, I'll tell you what, for a 1793 home, there are no targets here either. They said it hasn't been detected before. The landowner, property owner, he bought it in 96. And um, so either it was hunted before 96, or there's nothing here, or they've hauled dirt in in which uh, a lot of things are deep. So I'm gonna come back after lunch and I'm going to uh, put my big coil on and, and go deeper. And um, I've got a, I've got a 2930 right here, pretty deep, probably about uh, 10 inches deep. So I'm thinking things may be deeper. And uh, so it's an interesting little pin. Let me show it to you. On top of a little triangle design, a little fancy. Flip it over and see where the pin was right there or something, some type of hinge. I don't know what this was, but hey, I'll dig it. Uh, I'll dig anything right now just to see. And you can see how deep that was. Uh, if I put my pro pointer in there, you can see it's at least 10 inches deep. So maybe stuff is down deeper, but I haven't got it. Not at one single old coin, 1944 Philippine coins, all I've gotten so far in a weedy. I got a 3132. It's six inches deep. Got a high screaming si silver signal. So we thought we'll live dig it and see what we come up with. It could just be a quarter, but, but but man, I'm hopeful for a silver here. Hopeful for a silver. Come on, silver, be something old. Let's see where it's at. Still down there. That's always a good sign that it's deeper. Well, it's hard to get these rocks, but I've been fooled. There's a lot of... There's a lot of uh, lead in here, too. Oh, there it is. On edge. Modern quarter. Modern quarter, eight inches deep, at a 1793 home. Go figure. Gosh, let's keep going. Michael just brought me Silver Cross. How about that? Mark 925 on the back. Small little thing, but we're still not getting to coins yet, but we're starting to find a few things. So we got us a cross, so it's an episode. As you can see, it's, uh, we're at this uh, 1812 house, 
and I uh, got Mike over there detecting with me and uh, it's raining, it's going to rain all day and windy, it's going to get cold later on. So we're just trying to door knock and do what we can. We got this house and uh, I did another couple of houses I've been striking out. There just hasn't been any, any finds at all whatsoever uh, in these yards. It's just unbelievable that we haven't found any. And, uh, and there's 1793 homes and 1700 homes and 1800 homes. And, and I don't know if it's just been hunted this area or what, but uh, this is the first yard that I'm actually finding Wheaties in. I got a 19 signal here, dug it up to the size of a quarter, but it's not a quarter. Let me spin you around before I get rained out here. You can see right here, it's uh, going to have some type of inscription on it. I mean, some type of guy with a hat on his head. I don't know if it's going to zoom in too good. The back has got some type of design on it. I can't dry. I can't get it dry. I'm gonna just have to show you this at the wrap up. It's just too wet right now. But that's the that's the portrait right there. It's got writing around it. So we'll have to do some research and see what this is going to be. All right, let's keep going before it gets too too rained out. Some type of uh, some type of foreign coin, I think, being a 19. But don't know the date on it. So we'll get all that. All right, let's keep on rolling. Well, hopefully it's not too windy that you can hear me just fine. Uh, we've been striking out house after house after house. We've been doing door knocking, digging 1,800 homes, 1,700 homes, absolutely nothing, nothing at all. And we uh, talked to a historical society yesterday. We detected a house uh, right next to it. And uh, we just came up and knocked on the door. And y'all check this out. We did that White House right down there and we didn't find anything. And they talked to the people right here and this historical society owns all this property here. They own this 1790s home here and we have permission to do this house. It's got a huge back lot right through there, all of this over here. And so hopefully we're gonna get on some silver. The oldest coin that I have found, believe it or not, is just 1944. And I'm in the prime real estate of metal detecting. My goodness, this is unbelievable. I just don't know if the things are deeper because there's a black layer of dirt and about uh, eight inches down it goes into gravel and sand and if it's been field dirt if it's been detected but or they just didn't drop anything here on the cape I don't know but it's unreal best finds we got just wheat pennies and stuff so let's get geared up and let's see what we can find for the historical society anybody for a bowl of stew that's some big kettles isn't it Got a little signal, got a little earring here. I don't think it's that old, but it's kind of neat. Thought it was coins at first. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I got another uh, earring. All right, let's go for some big old silver. Let's try to get that. Well, out here in front of this 1790 home, and I just got an 1819 about. Uh, eight inches deep and I think it's a button and I think it's got writing on it. Let's see what it is. Now check this out. This could be, this is, could be old. That's got some design on it. Trying to see what that is. It's hoping it was a GW button. It's got, I don't know. Can y'all tell what that is? I'll have to do some investigation on that one. And uh, that's a nice little button right there. Shank is missing. A big flat button. Check that out. Let's get a picture and let's keep on going. There could be some good relics in this yard. And got an 1819 signal and just popped it up. I just found an old vintage ring. That is so cool. It's got some writing on it too. Could be an old class ring, very old class ring. So let me uh, let me put my brush and some water on this. And uh, oh, it has a name in it. Check that out. It says something I can't tell. This is very cool. It's going to have some design on it. Now it's going to be broken. Or it's going to be one of the, I don't know, it could be a gumball machine. Let's just clean it up and see what it is. Yeah, it's going to be a, uh, a gold plated at one time. 
I can't read what that says. Maybe you can. B Betty. I think it's Betsy. Betsy. This is Betsy's ring. I wonder when Betsy was alive. It got a clover and a horseshoe on it. It's a good luck ring. Maybe a old gumball. I don't know. It's old. I can tell you that. That's an old ring. That's Paul Revere's bell going off in the church. I love history. This is amazing. It must be noon. I tell you what, I'm just in this one pocket and I'm just popping that. Just I'm still within a, a five foot area of that ring and that button. And I think I just popped my first silver, my first silver. I don't even know what it is. Check that out. It looks silver. Read it edge. So let's uh, let's clean this up. Let's see if we can uh, get some of that off. And without, I don't know what this is going to be. It's got corrosion on this side. It may not be a coin. I don't know what this is. Got some writing right there. Maybe it's upside down. I think it says one dime. Yeah, it says one dime. One dime. And it's going to be so corroded. I'm not going to be able to get any definition off of it. I see a date right there. Let me clean it up a little bit. And let's see what we can come up with. Okay, it's just going to be a barber dime. It's a 1903, which is not that old in this area. Well, it's just getting a 1920. I think it's going to be Indian head. And I got this thing right here. If you know what that is, let me know. I have no clue. Let's get that old, old silver. Let's go for it. Well, I'm still in that same area. I've been here the whole time. I've got so much yard to do. And uh, out here by the fence, you can see the house right there. The historian came out and told us this, this was actually a, a pirateer. Uh, they worked with the pirates because of back when they were colonies. And uh, so it's got a lot of history right here. And uh, anyway, back to metal detecting. I uh, was getting a uh, 24, 25, 26. thought it was going to be a wheat penny. And popped it up and check this out. I see silver. What kind of silver is this going to be? Ah, oh, oh, you're kidding me. Just a mercury dime? I'll take a mercury dime. I shouldn't be selfish, should I? Uh, 1930. Let's see what that's going to be. 1930. I was hoping, I'm, I'm looking for seeded or even cat bust. I'll take that though. All right. I just don't expect that at a 1790 home. I am so excited. I know some of you guys have detected and you find these things all the time and it's just really nothing. But for me, those of you that know me, I've been in search of a largey for so long and I'm in largey territory and I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I don't even know what kind it is yet. It's pretty thick and big. It was ringing up like a 30 on the Equinox. About eight inches down. So I'm still in this yard. Not very far away from where I found that button. So let me turn you around. Let's look at this. Check the imprint out right there. And there she is. I can see one cent right there. One cent. There she is. I got my first largey. And what is she going to be? Uh, let me do some cleaning up and see if I can get a date on this and see what this what this was going to be. All right, guys, this is going to be an 1818 Coronet head large scent. I can't believe it. My first one. Check it out. It's in good shape, too. It's in great shape. I'm going to. Let it dry out. We might can see some more details on it. 1818 Coronet Head. My first large scent. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm going to call it a day. It's about 1.30 right now. Rain's coming in. Wind's like 50 miles an hour. And uh, 
but we had a good time at this house right here. I found everything in one side of the yard. I didn't find hardly anything else anywhere, uh, just in that one side of the yard to the left of the porch. But we had a good week. Uh, I didn't find as, a lot of the old silver that I wanted to find being up here in New England. But uh, that's okay. Sometimes, you know, the treasure isn't what you find in the ground. The treasure is making new friends, in which I did. I found uh, Michael Clark is a, a, one of my subscribers and saw me and invited me to come up. And all within a week's time, I got a trip, I, a plane, plane ticket, came up here. And he's been such a great host hosting me. And, and we, we uh, really just had one house to do. But we woke up this morning and we door knocked and got four new homes. And one was a historical society. So it was really good. It's been a good trip. And uh, I didn't find a lot of the big silvers, but I found my bucket list coin. And that's all that matters to me. I found my large set. I've been looking for that thing since I went to Philadelphia uh, earlier this year and to Ohio and, and never found one. And uh, well, I found one, but it was so white you couldn't even see it. But uh, this one, I found the classic head. And uh, man, I'm so happy. 1818. But let me turn you around. Let me show you everything that we did find. And this is Michael over here. Say hello, Michael. That's Michael Clark. He's got a good name, doesn't he, Michael? He's a super guy, man. Motivator. I tell you what, he'll lift you up. Uh, he's a, he's a go-getter. So let me show you what we got. Michael found this uh, at that first house, that 1793 home. And we believe this is going to be a real gun. It's got weight. It's, it's, it's uh, iron. It's not aluminum. But uh, we're going to put it on electrolysis and see what comes up. I got, uh, hopefully the wind's not too big. My mic died where I don't have my windsock on. Some little did tidbit there. I got a little toy car. I got this uh, little hinge thing. I'm not sure what it is. Kind of neat. Looks like a Mercedes thing. I did get a D-buckle. I got a key. I got a marble. Uh, there's my jewelry. Two earrings. And then we got a ring that says Betsy in it. And it's just a junker ring, I think, but it may be, it's definitely vintage. Found a very nice uh, flat button. Not sure what that fancy is, but it's nice. Ended up with one, two, three, almost uh, $3.75 in quarters and uh, 15 dimes. We got six nickels and 10, 20, 30, 40 pennies. We ended up with uh, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten um, Wheaties. And then I've got this 1944 Philippines coin. And I haven't done my research on this one yet. It looks like some guy with a little turban on his head or something. I think it may be the yard that we were doing was very Buddhist people. They were very, they had Buddha everywhere. So it could, it could be an Indian, maybe India coin. I'm not sure. You can see his thing there. I have to look that up and see what the date is on that one. I did get two Mercs, I mean two Silvers. I got a 30 Merc and then a 1903 Barber Dime. That thing is eaten up so bad. And the find of the day, my 1818. I think that's, did I say Classic Head? Maybe, I think. I don't know my large sense, but you can still see her. 1818. Still got the one cent on it, and you can st uh, still read it. Uh, there it is. Yep, well, there it is, right there. One cent. They didn't stamp them all verse, reverse. The yeah, they did. Just a little bit off. That's my find of the day. To me, that's just as good as silver. That's been my bucket list coin that's been eluding me for some time. So anyway. There's all the trash. That's not all of it. We got some trash up there, and, and we've already hauled. There's trash in there, and we've hauled some off already. And there's all my treasure. And like I say, the greatest treasure isn't up here what's in New England. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven, my friends. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting, and God bless.